For as long as I can remember, my So, how'd I do? That was great! I mean, you're the head of the Horror Research Club and... President of the Student Council! It's a given! You win this speech contest for sure! What, Michelle? Why didn't you listen to Erico's speech? I don't need to. I know she'll win. Here, take a look at this. Those are guest invitations to Illbleed. How'd you get them? From a Pepco promotion. Kill! Look, we can win a hundred million bucks there. Yeah, if we can manage to get through the whole park, that is. No sweat. I'm game if you are. Sure thing, I'm with ya! Woo! Woo! Excuse me, did you see three high school kids around here three days ago? They had special invites. <laughs>
play a sport, a game, knowing full well that you're going to either win or lose. You never expect to die before your dreams come true. Neither did Jimmy or his father, Gail Banbalo, a Minnesota innkeeper. He set up a secret baseball practice arena in the basement of his inn, where he and his son practiced day after day. Jimmy's hard work and batting skills finally led his team to a state victory. It started out a crisp spring day, but before Jimmy could go outside to play, he and his dad went downstairs to bat the ball around a few times. Upstairs, some teenagers had been playing with fire, turning the inn into a raging blaze that was soon out of control. The inn was a total loss, and so was Jimmy, burned in minutes. Mr. Banbala was so badly maimed, he turned into a hideous monster, oozing and bleeding, snarling and growling like a beast, enraged and bent on revenge. He tracked down the kids responsible for the fire and killed them one by one with a blowtorch. That wasn't enough for Bambalo. He won't leave his inn or his memories, so there he waits, in ambush.